On today's Tech Unexpected, we are going to take a look at geocaching. It's basically a high-tech treasure hunt done with GPS devices. People hide hidden containers called geocaches all over outdoors, and then other people find them and share their experiences online. There are hidden geocaches all over San Francisco, and I'm going to find some of them today. And here to help me out today is one of the top geocachers in the world, Lee Vanderbach. Hey! Hello, Veronica. So what are we going to do today? What is geocaching exactly? Geocaching is worldwide treasure hunt. Now, you said treasure. Is it actually valuable items or is it more like fun stuff? No, it's more like fun stuff. Typically trinkets for the kids, little toys, and uh, there's a little logbook inside. You sign the logbook to prove that you were there. How widespread is this phenomenon? Geocaching is worldwide. There are geocaches in over 200 countries. Even up in the space station there's one. So is this your typical GPS unit that you would use? Yes, I typically use this. I also have an iPhone. Does this show that there's any caches nearby? Of course, there's a cache very nearby, right over there. Over there? Right over there. All right, let's hop in the cruise and, and go find this puppy. My car's name is Terry, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. Armed with our GPS, Lee fed the directions to the first spot. Which direction are we going in? Straight ahead. And it wasn't always easy. The arrow's pointing behind us. <laughs> we'll have to do a U-turn. All right, I think we're pretty close. Um, let's take a look at some of the clues here on the iPhone app. Are we looking good? Yeah, we're looking really good. So somewhere off in that direction, looks like. Let's go. All right, let's find it. All right, 82 feet. So it's pointing right in here. That must be it. I'm scared there's going to be like a snake or a rat that's going to bite me. Hey, hey, I found it. Official geocache. Do not remove. We have a lovely necklace. This is so cool. It's just like a real world video game. Like I found loot in, real, in the real world. Our second cache was hiding out somewhere on Lombard Street. So where should I be looking? In the bushes? I think it says stop. Oh, it's the hint on the cash page. It says stop. Oh, I got it. Here you are, my precious. It's got a log. All right, we better log ourselves on here. You got a pen? Back you go, my little friend. Wow, it's pretty amazing that it's hidden right here in plain sight at one of like the busiest tourist areas in San Francisco. I think it's the busiest spot in the world, perhaps. Do, do they ever get stolen just because people notice them randomly? Yes, we have muggles that tend to steal them at times. Muggles. After a successful day, I decided to get in on the fun and plant my very own cache. Who said being a geek means you have to sit in front of a computer all day? We've been out here running around, you know, setting up geocaches and finding them. And Lee actually helped me make my very own kit that you will be able to find. I'm even going to include a little trinket that I got from Japan. All the instructions will be on my blog, and the coordinates will, of course, be on geocaching.com. Think this is a good spot for it, uh, Excellent. Just stick it right in. All right. Let me shoot some coordinates, and I'll email them to you, and you can list the cache and get it published. Fantastic. And then you can find it. Find out how to participate in my geocache in my blog post on cruiserati.com.